Welcome. Okay, welcome. All right, it's kind of glitchy at this time to start the video. I don't know why. Okay, uh, after this, we're through most of the year. We're just going to do algebra, um, area, surface area, and volume of shapes, and then the mean, median, mode, and charts. Okay, you guys did really good on a lot of that. Okay, just a few things to practice. So we're probably going to get to like 15 videos. You guys can replace your 15. I'm probably going to require everybody to do all 15. Okay. Um, even if you got to do a few of them Monday night, try to do all of them Sunday today. Um, so to help you, because I can't guarantee you which parts are going to be on Monday's portion of the test. All right, really quickly, exponents. Anytime you have two with a little three, that does not mean two times three. No, that means two times itself three times, okay? So if you get a whole bunch of them or something, you just, you know, do the first two is four, and I still have times two left. The answer is eight. See the difference? Six. A lot of people run with that six, guys. They do two to the third power and three to the second power a lot, and people put six, okay? Three to the second power. Is that three times two equals six? No, that's three times three, which equals nine, okay? All right, distributive property. We've jokingly said if you ever have two next to a letter or any number next to a letter, that just means they're multiplying it, okay? Because instead of saying I have a cookie, I have two cookies, two cookies, which really means two times one cookie, all right? Um, same thing when you have parentheses, okay? Distributive property is that means two times everything on the inside. And I think they usually, a lot of schools call it the rainbow method or whatever, but you're going to do two times everything in here. Two times three is six. We're still going to have the plus sign drop down. And then two times X is just two X, okay? Um, so this isn't too difficult. Most people do pretty good with this stuff. Just got to be careful to do your multiplication properly. Um, 7, um, 11 plus, let's do 3x. Okay, watch this. I don't think they'll give it to you quite like this. Okay, so that means times. 7 times 11 is 77 plus, ooh, they already got a number next to the x. So do I 7 times the 3 and 7 times the x? No, it's just once. There's three cookies. I want seven times that many cookies. What's seven times three cookies? 21 cookies. You don't do three, seven times three, and then seven times the X again for seven more X's. No, it's just seven times the three cookies equals 21 cookies, okay? Now, here's the confusing part with distributive is where they ask you to do it backwards, okay? And you might have 24 minus 8X, and they say, um, use the distributive property to find an equivalent value. So what they're asking you, and I jokingly call it going fishing, you are fishing for a factor to pull out. What number can you pull out of both of those? What's the greatest common factor? Okay, GCF. Um, we want to have parentheses minus some number of X. So I need, I need a number here that I'm going to fish out a factor I'm going to pull out and times this equals 24, but I can also do it times something to equal eight. Um, well, I could divide them both by two. Okay. Cause two goes into both. Three does not. Four goes into both. Five does not. Six does not. Seven does not. Eight. <gasps> eight goes into both. Eight is going to be the greatest common factor. So if I put the eight out here, what times eight equals 24? 24 divided by eight is going to be three. And then minus how many x's? Well, 8 divided by 1 equals 8. Okay, so 8 times 1 equals 8. So this is just going to be a 1 right here. You don't have to put the 1. It's just really going to be 8, 3 minus x, okay? Because that's 1x. It's singular, okay? All right, that's the hardest one uh, with distributive property that they do, guys. PEMDAS, we're going to flip the page, but we're going to write. So Mr. Douglas, when he's grading, he remembers to flip your page. Well, I'll have my page, so I'll see. You should have that written, and it'll remind me to flip the page. I didn't do it on one of the other ones, so who knows if I remember on that one. PEMDAS, I would prefer you to, when you get a big, long string of stuff here, and you got like 
um, 100 divided by 10 times 2. Um, you know, I just want it for the sake of it, I want to change this to 5. Trying to do something to get your head to scream something, okay? And then we have parentheses 3 plus um, 2 plus 2 to the third. Okay, there. All right. So the trick is your head is going to scream, oh, I know 5 times 2 is 10, and 10 divided by 10, or 100 divided by 10 is 10. 10 times 10 is 100. I know that. My brain is screaming that at me right now. I'm glad I remember it. Yay. No. Okay. It's, I've told you we should put little O's here, and I want you to write it like this so they're next to each other because we have to remember, and especially this one, adding and subtraction, uh, a lot of times it, you can get away with, but not always. Multiplication and division, whichever one comes first, reading left to right. Okay, there's a big difference. So if I change this to 10 and I do 100 divided by 10, I get 10. But watch what happens if I do multiplication or division, whichever comes first, reading left to right. Division comes first. 100 divided by 5 is 20. 20 times 2 is 40. Oops, big difference. Okay. So we ha that's why we have to all in the universe or in, on planet Earth agree on this order of operations so we can all do the same math and get the same answers. Okay. All right. So now my new math problem, I have a 40 outside here. I, I could have done what was in parentheses first. Um, but I was trying to show you that. All right. So I got 2 to the third power. Parentheses first. Inside the parentheses, I have 2 plus 2 to the third. Well, that's an exponent. i got to do that first. Okay. Um, is that 2 times 3? No, we just said in a previous video. It's 2 times 2 times 2. That's 2 times 2 times 2, which we did is 4 times 2 is 8. So it's 2 plus 8, and then i got a plus 3 out here, then a 40. Okay. Now I can do 2 plus 8 is 10. 3 plus 10 is 13. And then lastly, I have 40 outside parentheses. When you think times something's next to a letter or a parentheses, that means times. So it's just going to be 40 times. Okay. Now you could do 0, 0, 0. Um, then the second line is you're going to put a placeholder, right? Um, well, some teacher pointed out to me that, well, just forget about doing the line of zeros. Just scoot it over so all the zeros are to the right. And just drop it down. There's my placeholder for the second line. The first line is going to be all zeros anyway. So skip it. Just scoot it over. Drop the zeros. Whatever. If I had three zeros here, I'd drop three zeros and I'd do four times those things. I'm um, Drop this zero. Four times three is 12. Four times one is four. Plus one is five. 520. Okay, that's the answer. All right. Okay, great job. Now we're going to get a little bit more advanced. 